According to the National Weather Service office in Riverton, on Friday, February 12, 2021, the temperature in Casper only got to five degrees below zero. This was a record cold temperature for Casper, Wyoming. The last record for a cold February 12th was set in 1949 when it was zero degrees. We warmed up Saturday the 13th to negative four this year. The 13th of February 1949 was 20 below zero. Brr, I cannot remember a time that it has been this cold for this long. I've lived here 20 years and why I didn't do research on that, it just feels like it's been cold a long time. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video where I am going to tell you the coldest recorded temperature and where it was. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with Remax The Group and the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team, and I love all things Wyoming. I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so you are alerted every time we post a new video. So how do we survive the cold temperatures? For one, we dream about spring, and we are jealous of those who are traveling to warm areas this time of year. There are many ways to prepare yourself and your home for these bone chilling temperatures. One of the many issues that can affect a home when the temperatures dip so low is frozen pipes and bursted pipes. Vacant houses are at very high risk of freezing pipes and they have to be checked frequently, which we do. If the house is going to be vacant for more than a couple weeks or a month, it should be winterized to prevent any damage. However, we do have to make sure the occupied homes stay warm enough as well. Turn up the heat. Yes, it's going to cost you more, but it will save you a lot of time and money in the long run. Then, if there's a power outage, we have more time before the house gets to freeze. Also, open all the cabinet doors under the sinks so that heat can get in there more easily. Make sure you turn the faucet on so a little trickle of water is running and make sure there's nothing in the sink to cover the drain or you're gonna have a whole nother problem. Let's talk about insurance. This applies to homeowners and renters. Before now is a better time to check, but if you haven't had this conversation, call your insurance agent and make sure your house does have coverage if there are bursted pipes. Renters, listen up. For your personal belongings to be covered, as well as a hotel, in most cases, if you're displaced from your rental, you need to have renter's insurance. This typically only runs $12 to $30 per month. The landlord or owner's insurance does not cover your personal belongings, even the bed and the couches if they get wet. And most of the time, it does not cover a place for you to stay in if you're displaced from the house. When it's cold outside, we obviously stay indoors more. Of course, there are those that are out snowmobiling and sledding and cross-country skiing and while we're inside, we're playing board games, arts and crafts, and watching lots of Netflix. Right, everybody? Make sure you have your pantry stocked. Foods that can be eaten cold or hot are also a plus. It's also important to plan who you're going to call in case you have a plumbing or a heating problem. Having a plan before it gets cold is key. Make sure that you maintain your fireplaces and chimney as you will need them, especially this time of year. We would love to hear how else you are staying warm and passing time in this very cold snap we're having. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon. And as for what I promised you at the beginning of the video, the record low for the state of Wyoming was originally 66 degrees below zero. And yes, that's Fahrenheit, observed February 9th, 1933 in Yellowstone National Park.